What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? You're listening to the Lol Cow podcast. Today, I we're guest free, but you've got myself, the ever kind Tommy C. Definitely not an asshole, no matter what eight bit Eric has to say. And of course, Jordy. How you doing, Jordy? I am getting sick, like yeah. badly, and and we got to do a live show after this. <laughs> this is the only thing I did this week. Uh, my major my major focus has been. Well, I had to go down and get Desi. Uh, I, I saw a lot of crazy rumors, and I had a lot of people like reaching out to me, asking about like the crazy rumors. Uh, Tommy, you saw some of these, I'm sure. What did you see? I already killed her. <laughs> oh, I see. Squashed her in bed is probably the most important. I, I people saw, asked me, and I was like, maybe he did. I don't know. <laughs> I saw that uh, she left me because I ran out of money, and that I was e-begging for more money from Keemstar to, to be able to pay her. I saw that one. I saw that her and I got into an argument and she ran home to her parents. Those are the major ones. Those are the ones that I'm, and then there's like some other crazy rumors, but the reality of it is, uh, Flaming Star got out of jail on Tuesday. Maybe it was Wednesday morning. Uh, Wednesday morning, her parents were in town for her birthday. Uh, her mom had already voiced that we would like it if you came down to the farm for the weekend, uh, helped us out a little bit, spend some time with your birthday. Uh, we didn't get, we don't get to see much of you. And she said, yep, you bring me down and then Steve will come and pick me up. And I thought, you know, what a perfect timing for it. If I'm stars out of jail, let's make sure if he's going to do, I think if he's going to do something crazy, he'll do it in the first 24 hours. Right. Like you, if he's you mad in your blood, Boogie, he has so much bitch in your blood. You know, the reality <laughs> of it is if I had bitch in my blood, I would have went down there with her. I would have stayed in the camper. I I, I'm sure down. you wanted to, but you needed no. to make this low cow money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, because keep in mind we were done. We were done Wednesday night. All I needed to do was be back by today, right? Um, but I sat here, <clears throat> yeah, ready but to you, go. You know, you got lucky that Connor hasn't cut that last stream up with you. I don't know if that's a Keemstar choice or what it is, but like you had a whole like two hours. Oh yeah, I had a complete. I had on. a complete. I had a complete mental break. Uh, and, and like, it, like if you want to see that shit, you got to become a member. So what happened though? What happened between you and her? Nothing. Just we missed each other. So, we texted so you each went other on, all So day. let me get this straight. So you, you go on, tell everybody in public, uh, uh, you love everybody so much. You don't know why everybody hates you. That don't doesn't even know you. I mean, it just smelled to death like you guys got in a major fight. Yeah, that is just a classic boogie mental breakdown. And I'm glad I normally avoid live streaming when that happens. If Keemstar had not called me that night, I don't think you guys would have seen full-on depersonalized dissociative steve but that's it's so difficult to explain mental illness to somebody but i'll try to explain it if you does never that mean you didn't that. get in a fight <laughs> no yeah no we didn't have definitely no fights so so why um, were you on twitter why did it sound like it the way it did because on the second night um <coughs> i was sitting there with my blood pressure machine and i was registering 200 over 180 and i'm like i'm dying like the stress of all of this is killing me and I didn't sleep for two nights because, like Jordy said, I have bitch in my blood. You I, do I, have bitch I, in your blood, dog. Yeah. I was ready for this motherfucker to show up. And so I thought I'd, the last thing I want to do is be asleep do you have a and have something lock? come flying through one of my windows. Yeah, but he doesn't give a shit. You he get, smashed a window get, last time, right? You got a deadbolt? Yeah. It doesn't matter. He can come in through a window. Have you formally trespassed this man? No. No. Yes. I, I mean, it's easy to do to, that. Well, you do that is you go, hey. I don't want this guy on my property. That's a formal trespass. But you got to go verbal. and fill out papers and everything. No, no, else, no, right? no, 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 no. <laughs> it's so oh, hard. Oh yeah, well, I have. Then no. I have a verbal. Yeah, I have a no. verbal thing. Yeah, it's For, pretty apparent. How He's trespassing works, there. Boogie, in the United States, and this is usually in every state. First one is verbal. You ask them to leave your property. Right. If they refuse to leave your property after you've asked them, that's the first warning. The second time, mm -hmm. now you call the cops. The cops come. And you tell them, like, yo, I've asked him to leave the property. That covers base one. Now base two, they can criminally trespass him. If okay. you call the well, cops. Well, then we've already done all of that. Before yeah, you can shoot them. You tell them. <laughs> yeah, we've already done all that. And this time, no warning shots either, by the way. If I if I had a gun. Well, you're a felon. You shouldn't have to, a gun. You know, but, like, um, but you like know, if you break. I don't know what the status is. I don't know if I'm allowed to have a gun or not. I need to get with my lawyer. You're a felon. After, you're not after, allowed after to have April a gun. I, I, still, I still don't Actually, know what happened, though. Like, what created the meltdown? So, okay, going back, I didn't sleep for two nights. I literally sat in my chair waiting for this to happen, right? I don't believe Waiting, that waiting, waiting, waiting. And at the <laughs> end of the second night, I'm, I'm sitting there to look at my blood pressure, and it's 200 over 160, 180, and I'm like, wow, I'm dying. Like, the stress of this is going to kill me. 
So I went to Twitter and I'm like, I, I said, about I playing Desi, video games during this time. I tried, but it was really hard. After the mental break, I got a good amount of sleep though, which so is you had a mental common. breakdown, yeah, because you got a high reading. On, I, a, on, I mean, it was two days thing. of it was two days of no, no, worrying no, no. about he, he, this. He's crazy worried about it. He's worried about a fifty year old man showing up his house and beating him up. That's why he's got. I was more worried. I don't. I'm not worried about a beating. I'll let you beat me up. I don't give a. Well, what, what I'm worried about we, is him. What you expect him to do? A, a man that don't got a car. Well, I mean, in his interviews, your house, he kept talking about firebombing the place. So I thought he was going to throw a Molotov. In his interviews, he him. talked about it being a karate master and other fucking bull. <laughs> he also <laughs> talked about firebombing the place. And and again, keep in mind, keep in mind the last the last time he was here, he threw. A metal plate big enough to crack my skull through the window I'm sitting next to right now. Well, for, well first off, that metal plate after it hits the window, it's going to yeah. dissipate a lot of the energy and it's going to fall in your fucking lap. Second yeah, off, you got that. you. Second off, you got homeowners insurance that will pay for that window. But you're third talking off, logic. Third off, you. Third off, you have you have him on trespassing and vandalizing. You put his ass you right can. back in jail. Right, and I'm pretty sure, by the way, I'm pretty sure as part of his release, he has a no contact order because those are very common. In the, I haven't seen the paperwork, but I'm almost certain he would have one. Right? And why didn't you leave? Why don't you just take a fucking couple of days off? And my thought process was if he burns down my house with my roommates in it or burns down my house with my dogs in it, I want to be that's here. That's another to good point. It. You got it's yeah, how many grown men in that house? At least three. Y'all could y'all could beat the fuck out of this old dude like osteoporosis feel, is not doing. I feel no, no so one, you wanted to burn with. I'll them. be honest with you. I, I'll be honest. With, I mean, honestly, yeah. Crazy Boogie probably thought that at some point. It's, I tell because I'll tell you. Remember when the Frank shit happened? Remember what I said? I would rather hurt go on me than hurt somebody else. Why don't you guys go on shifts or something? Or something? I would military. sleep like a fucking baby. I would they too. slept <laughs> fine, for the record. Because um, you're ridiculous. But they already know. Uh, Chad's known me for 30 years. The other roommates know me for 15. They've already dealt with Crazy Boogie. So you know how what they did is they came in and they watched TV shows with me and they passed the time and they asked like if I wanted to play some games. <laughs> and they're just games, like, Boogie? <laughs> they, they just checked out. Because at the end of the day, what can you fucking do? Crazy Boogie's here. And he's I, none of it makes sense. Just Crazy Steve. Crazy Steve is a covert narcissist. Who he must feels, be really difficult to live with. I mean, no, it's impossible. This is bipolar. Because if I live with you, it's like, here's what actually do. really boring. Here's what going to do. Because, he, like, I'll give you this. You have, like, a legitimate thing to worry about. I, I wouldn't say that, right? This is not so crazy. It's not nothing nothing not to worry about. So here's what we'll do. We're going to do eight-hour shifts, right? So you do have this one guy has got to be up, walks around the house every 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, and what have you, and that thing shifts, and the other guy gets it around, and then you, you, you shift out until you're fucking good. <laughs> this motherfucker sounded like we looking for the Viet Cong up in his bed. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, the guy, I mean, keep an eye out. I take one fucking while I walk around the goddamn house, and, uh, I, I, and that keeps Boogie at peace, but that wouldn't even work, would it? No, After, no, no. Here's what you do, yeah. Boogie. You lock no, the fucking nothing, doors, nothing you put, can your, keep you put crazy. your Bane machine on, and then you call the cops if you hear glass break. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was always the, that was always the plan, except I did it in my chair instead of my bed. Because the chair is in the center of the house. Um, mm. So it's good for like hurricanes. But also, if somebody's going to throw something through a window, good luck reaching the chair in the center this of the house. said hurricanes. You live in Arkansas. Well, What's I mean, I mean tornadoes. Tornado. I mean tornadoes. We have tornadoes here, Jordy, all the time. <laughs> okay. we, have, we have tornadoes here all the time. Yeah, do you have a tornado room? Do you have like a, do you have a tornado room? No, he does. Uh, he he no, thinks his no chair in the middle room. of his house is mm -hmm. going to stop a tornado. That no, I'm just saying that's the safest spot. It's not good. It's pretty <laughs> shitty. There's a plate glass window not too far away. Can, you know, can, can somebody use that Wizard of Oz? Imagine like, Boogie just in waddling that. towards the ditch. <laughs> I want to see Boogie in the house, like the with the witch chase. But the reality he gets his leg caught up in the grass. He doesn't fucking cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody's cutting the lawn right now. By the way, and then they, yeah, and it's they right, Desi. No. <laughs> Like, is it done Buggy? now? <laughs> and and it's so good. it's stupid because she worked on a farm for the last five years of her life. She lived and worked on a farm, so she's used you to. Say, you say she washes shit my legs. Now she lives with you and doesn't have to do nothing. No, I mean she does stuff. I mean you she know. has to yeah. sleep with Boogie. That ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> good point. That alone, it's a feat of strength to hold my weight up long enough so I don't uh, crush her. You know. Mm. It's oh, tough. you be on the top. I figured you'd be one of. Did those, she ever tell you stories? Like, pick your belly up. Does I she will ever be tell also you stories like when I was a little girl, I used to love you and arguing with Ernie Sarkeesian. Did she ever tell you? 
No. So actually, Desi was not a fan of mine growing up. Um, mm. She was a fan like of PewDiePie, Angry like Grandpa. She was a Angry fan Grandpa? of okay. um, Kid Behind a Camera and a fan of McJuggernuggets. And she had seen me in their videos, but then she came to watch my videos and she said most of them were pretty boring because I mostly just talked about myself, <laughs> which is absolutely <laughs> true. Right. And she didn't like the video game talk either. When I focused on the video games, I completely lost her as a fan. Um uh, but she so did basically like the she's dating you yeah. to get the kid behind the camera, but unfortunately for her, she he's married. You know, actually, the very first did that cross your mind? <laughs> yes, a hundred and ten percent. And the very first thing I did is I took her down to see Kid Behind the Camera. So after she'd been here for about two and a half weeks, we went and visited and collabed with Mike. And I was yeah. just like, well, I guess if she's gonna got, make a pass, got, now's got, the chance. I got a story. I got a story about this too. What? Go, okay. no, before I before I do, let me tell you one more thing. Okay. So it's so funny because while we're down there, Michael, uh, Michael knows everybody, a lot of the reality TV stars, a lot of wrestlers and stuff. And he's like, he got on the phone with, I think, Tammy Slayton, maybe it was Amy, one of these Slaytons, right? And they were on the phone together and they were like, would you like to talk to Boogie Boogie's here? And um, Desi got a little bit jealous that I was talking to a famous girl. And she was like, what if you leave me? Girls for strip. Tammy Slayton. And I was like, Desi, <laughs> number one, I'm not going to leave you for anybody. Uh, you are my dream catch. So I'm very happy to have you. Okay. I'm not going to fuck that up no matter what. Secondly, me and Tammy Slayton are not physically compatible. I don't want a girl who's going to compete with me at the buffets. I don't, you know, I, I, I have dated. I want a girl to compete with you at the Tammy buffets. She's going she gonna to own your ass. You've had your stomach cut out. The point that I'm making is I've normally been shipped with the fat girls, right? Um, I've dated both types of eating disorder. I've dated both binge eating. Would you like consider you Bridget fat? Is Bridget big? Bridget's not a small woman for sure. So you would consider yeah, her a BBW? I think so, yeah, but not like in a, not in a gross way. She's not like gross. Okay. But, Bridget you know. is a kid behind the camera's wife. Of yeah, yeah, she's underwear. not like fat enough to be gross. She's not like Tammy Slayton fat, you know. Yeah, well, that's, Tammy Slayton's that's lost a lot whole... of weight, but now she's just got the loose skin grossness. And I'll be, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Bridget wears it well. You know, I, I definitely see why Michael finds her attractive. I respect his opinion and, uh, on that. Can I, I'm gonna say something that's stereotypical. But what's the deal with the black man that likes the big girls? Jesus Christ, you guys are all over the place today. You're Look, really I was thinking about yeah, Tammy Slade. You, like, Tammy. Tammy. Well, you can't uh, stick to one fucking subject. It just good. bounces around. You're like a good. bunch of women. This is what's going to happen. If you let us run, we're just yeah, going to keep saying I still, stupid I'm shit. I'm still about Boogie standing me up. I go, I, Boogie's in Charleston, which is like two hours But no, you ask him a question, and then you bring up something completely. Like he says something, and that reminds you of something else. It's and like a fucking Wikipedia. ADD, baby. We got ADD. We got ADD. This is the ADD episode. This is the ADD episode. This is the Dungeons & Dragons episode. Let's play Dungeons & Dragons. Roll for initiative. Let's go. Okay. Initiative? I roll for charisma. No, but what is... Okay, let's get back to Jordy's racist shit. What is it about black men? and fat white women. I have something to say about that, but I want to hear what Jordy has to say first. Oh, I, I, I got nothing to say. I just something I noticed because I'd be watching like Thousand Pound Sisters, which is like a show on like TLC. Mm -hmm. And like Tammy's like last four boyfriends, like three of them in like these 145 pound skinny black men. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, how does this even work? The motherfucker <clears throat> got to be packed. It's called you need, love. You need, you need at least 10 inches to have the right tool to fuck with that. I, yeah, that's it's, it's, what I'm saying is is if they've got the reach that they need. <laughs> my mom, my mom racist. was clocking in about 300 pounds for the majority of my life. I don't know how big she was growing more? up, but my mom, my mom, if it, here, really date myself here, but look up Mimi from the Drew Carey show. My mom yeah. had the same hair, the same makeup and was fatter than Mimi. That, that was my mom. And she dated black men exclusively after my dad got sick. Uh, and I could not fathom who found her attractive. Must... Um, and then later on in life, I found out she she was trading her pain medication for sexual favors. So I wonder where I got that <laughs> habit from. Uh, well, not you, the you pain know, medications, gotta, but oh. for like paying for pain. I don't for think sex. that has anything to do with genetics. I think you're both idiots. How about that? I mean, yeah, we're probably about that. Yeah, okay. but it has I, nothing know... to do with genetics. Oh, like, is that what you do? So you sit around all day and like, oh, I, I, I did this terrible thing. Must be my mom's fault. You said one time, I, Boogie. <laughs> there's nature and there's nurture, and I think it's more about nurture. You said one time that your mother got you fat on purpose. Did yeah, she ever she tell me you why? Yes. 
Uh, I, I, I again, I, I guess this is a boogie episode. I, most people, I guess that's her fault. Right, that's her fault too. No, <laughs> but she said on my 25th birthday, she took me out to fried fish dinner, which was a tradition at that point. And in the middle of it, she started like crying, and I'm like, "What are these fucking crocodile tears?" And she said, "I made you fat on purpose." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "We're in a fucking fat. crowded hold restaurant, hold on, hold on. Wanda Faye. Like, now? why are you?" you said her 25th birthday. 25. Are you? Yeah. I'm 25. It's my 25th. Oh, you're 25. Oh, I thought yeah, it was yeah. her 25th birthday. I'm like, and she's up here crying about like an eight year old boy <laughs> or some shit like that. And, and I'm, and I'm like, what? What okay, are you trying Mom. to say? And she goes, when you was a kid, you had hunger, and I remember catching you eating butter out the fridge with your hands. <laughs> and I tried to be a good mama about it. I'd fight you and tell you you couldn't have it. But then one day I realized I if I let she you just eat whatever too. you want, yeah. She's like, if I just let you eat whatever you want, you get so fat. Here you go, Ma. You get so fat that you never leave me. You'd never meet a woman oh, and leave so me. Funny. Did it work? She started and the, the Coke bottles. No, the fun, the best part about it is. Like, I'm yeah. like, okay, I, I did the fucking, you know, child of a narcissist thing. And I'm like, well, mom, you know, you made bad decisions, whatever. It's, it's okay. Let's try to enjoy my birthday dinner or whatever, you know. And, and then she goes, and then she hits the table. She goes, and the worst part about it is it didn't even work. You met that it left me oh, for yeah. her. Oh, wow. Yep. Yep. Happy That's birthday so to Steve. But yeah, that's why she thought if I got guys, fat enough, I would never be found attractive by a woman, and I would never leave her. Dude, look, Which your, your I don't. Childhood was like an episode of Six Hundred Pound Life. Mother. I don't even it believe was. that. Everybody down there is fat. It, nobody was fat back then, George. Uh, like uh, Tommy, you know. I, uh, oh, that's right. You're older than me. Yeah, I'm true. fucking old. Nobody yeah, was when, fat. When Boogie went to the grocery store with his mama, they, it was like the circus for everybody else in town. <laughs> yeah, it, for real, for real. I was the fact that like, oh my god, look at that kid. He's ten pounds overweight. What a freak. Now you go to a high school, you ricochet pounds, off these. You just told us you ate butter out the. I'm just saying. Right I'm just saying. <laughs> even when I was ten pounds, they treated me like I was a freak. Now you go to a, a, an elementary school. You know, I have I'm to go you. pick Desi up, obviously. Um, and you go to an elementary school. It's like a, a school full of pillows. And it's none of the was, fat kids. You know, I didn't see the fat thing when I lived in the states, but I went back. I haven't been home since 2017, and the last time I went back, I was like, holy. Shit. Yeah, it's really like, crazy. It really is a fucking problem. It really is. <laughs> we can't yell at anybody no more, but he gets a fucking feelings hurt. I mean, you know, you, you don't even like take a shower in gym afterwards. They just send your smelly ass to class. So you can't do anything that uh, I don't what, know. What, what did they what did they used to have back in the day? Like the Kennedy plan. Like uh John F. Kennedy was like a uh, uh he was a big advocate for for athletics and gym stuff and you know, everybody was fucking skinny. Well, they got rid of that because it was too mean, and everybody's fat ass again. You know, I do. For, I do remember doing the uh, stupid uh, like governor's seal test or every year, and you know the presidential presidential fitness shit. Yeah, I remember that. that. I, I'm shit. old enough to remember. I'm only three years younger than you. Yeah. But, you know. I mean, you, you know, it didn't you remember keep me the in 70s. shape. That's the difference between me and you. Yeah, I don't. Did. I, I yeah, I remember doing this shit. I guess I grew up as a white man in the '80s. It wasn't bad. Um, I highly recommend it. If you can go back in time and be a white man in the '80s, yeah, the '80s are great. It was a good There's no deal. doubt about it. it was a real I good thought it was deal boring right back then, and this sucks. But yeah, I, I, like I, I take this back in a bit. Yeah, yeah, he was. yeah, born in 74, so uh, 1984, I turned 10. The Nintendo Entertainment System came out a little bit later, and dude, I was off to the races. It was well, like, we oh 12, my God, it was crap. You were 12 before I was even a twinkle in my daddy's eye. You think that was bad? Uh, somebody pointed out the other day, my girlfriend was three when I started my YouTube Yeah, yeah, channel. we talked about that. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's so weird, you know. But like, it's like I said, I didn't try to date her then, so, you know, if I get mad if I was trying to date her then. Then I could see why you'd be upset. So, like, but. 22 years ago, would you have thought sitting around that your that your life partner? I wonder if I'm going to be banging yet. somebody that's being born right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be genuine. Can I? I want to be genuine in a way that will get me in so much trouble. But Go I ahead. don't really care. I oh. cannot stand women my age. I can't. Really? I, I do not relate to them. No. I do not understand any of the things you care about, any of the things you talk about. When you say I don't your want to watch like no 40 real, to 50, 35 like to 50. 40s you know. and 50s, yeah. I don't want to watch real 30, housewives. 30-year-old women? You know, like 30-year-old women are fine. 30's fine, yeah, yeah. I'm saying 40 to 50, 40 to 50. 
40, 50, 50, 60. If they take um, care of them, a 40 year old probably can I, take care of them. I don't want to watch themselves. Real Housewives. I don't want to watch The <laughs> Bachelor. Okay. I don't want to chain smoke cigarettes with you. I definitely not, don't want to go to church with you. And I don't want to hear about why your kids don't talk to you anymore. None of that is attractive <laughs> to me. None of that yeah, is interesting to me. You drive a good point. <laughs> yeah. There, you, know. I, you know what it is? I, I don't live in the States. I don't deal with women like that. It's definitely different over here. Like, I, I got to be honest with you. Like, German women are, well, as far as women go, are sane. So I don't have any fucking issues with them. But I know, it, I like, when you talk like that, it reminds me when I was in my 20s and back home. And you, you just, yeah, everybody's nuts. Yeah. Everybody's there are crazy. Women, Nobody, nobody's happy. You know? there, are, there are women that are not like that here. They're taken. They're rich, yeah, successful, yeah, 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 yeah. happy people. Oh, why is my life all fucked up? Because right. you're a bitch. And nobody yeah. likes you. And I, you're I, like, I, there's I nothing appealing something. about your personality. You know. I want to say <laughs> something that's kind of out there. But like, as you get older and you're single, like when I got to like I don't know, like in my 30s, like say when I was 30, and I'm starting on plenty of fish and dating girls. It's like you know how hard it is to find a girl that doesn't have kids. That sane, that doesn't have something drastically wrong. Not, with not because they wouldn't be on plenty. If everything was going good, they wouldn't be on plenty of fish when they were thirty-five. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point. It's like they either have like fifteen fucking kids, or they are massively in debt, or they're crazy. Take like, care of me. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's that's the gra- grand me. grand scheme that's, of things as you get older. Take care of me. Yeah. So let me ask. Let me ask. Let me ask. It must be really funny. Let 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 let's give the ladies a break. Imagine imagine this. Maybe you get married when you're. You're 23 years old, and you marry a good guy, and both of you have good jobs, and you and you raise kids. And for some unforeseen reason, he gets hit with the what Stephen King calls the cancer stick, right? And he checks out about 30, right? So you're like 28, 30, right? Mm-hmm. A couple years go by. You know what? I'm ready to date again. I'm entitled to that. You know, you start dating, and you have to f- fucking see you and goddamn wings on plenty of fish and deal with all your fucking problems. <laughs> I hope to be fair. And this girl didn't do anything wrong. She wasn't a bitch. She went to college. She's got nice kids. Her husband was fair. I warned my young. wife about my problems <laughs> and she didn't believe me. Yeah, they gotta get you. She, she, yeah, she thought, she, thought, she thought the only problems I had was I was a fat boy. Nah, there's mm. other problems. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask a defining question here, Boogie and Tommy. Sure. Yeah. What would you feel like is the perfect age for a woman to date? Like like if you had to date your ideal woman, what is the perfect age? Twenty five. Twenty five. I'm I'm going with twenty three, but yeah. I feel like that, that area where they, they have they, they have a job, they have a career path, they're out of school. Then twenty seven. Because yeah. nowadays, you used to be done at 25. Nowadays, you're not done until fucking you're yeah, almost 30. Like, so to me, then, then like 27, you know, 28. I want a woman that has shit going on in her life and I can have a conversation with. And I feel like yep. that, that, I think that's the sweet spot. 25 to 27 is right I wouldn't where marry, you find I wouldn't mind it. If I was in my early 30s, I wouldn't mind married like a, a, like an undereducated girl that just takes good care of herself as long as, you know, Dude. she's not fucking nuts and. She, she, she's not like, like they, they, she knows what her place is. Let me tell <laughs> so you something about undereducated girls. You know, like, like, a, I'm, I'm here to look good and make you happy. I dated this one that's girl. That's my job. And okay. I wouldn't have no problem with that. I wouldn't have a problem taking care of a woman like that. I dated this one that, girl that was just like this, but I could not stand how dumb she was. Like, she couldn't tell me, like, she couldn't tell me what truck I drove. She was so dumb. She couldn't tell you what song was on the radio. She goes, I don't know. I just listen to it. I don't know. I just listen to music. But, like, she was the complete Southern Belle. She would, like, wake up in the morning and make your make your clothes, and, you know, and wash your clothes and cook and clean. And you know what it is? If, if you're banging a chick that's kind of dim like that, doesn't know what the fuck's going on, that's fine. If she's fun and she has a good personality. The problem is marrying those broads and like you're 37, 38 years old, right? And you've been with them like 10 years at this point and you're like, uh, I don't know. It's okay. If you say it's good, then it must be good, right? And then you, you'll go crazy. You actually need a woman with half a fucking brain to carry a copy because you're old, you're ugly now. Nobody gives a shit about you. Like this is this is your best friend supposedly. Now you got shit to talk about, and she's only getting uglier you, every and, year. And you can't you can't do anything. Like when a problem arises in your life, it's solely on you to figure it out. I don't want to see. Like if I had the money, 
I wouldn't give a shit about that. I have, I, I don't know, like, but but nobody's got that kind of money anymore. You know, like in the old days, like our parents and our parents' parents, you know, they married a girl. She took care of the house, and it was your fucking job to bring it in. You know, I I don't think there's anything wrong with it. that's what you want to do as long as everything's yeah, agreed no, yeah, on. You can't do that. Man. Everybody's got. You can't be do that no more. You need point. two incomes for sure, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jordy, you were we were ranting about fast food before we started this thing. Yeah, you, you said that's, McDonald's that's and wings conversation. No. Yeah, but I'm trying. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally trying to let you guys go off. Tommy, set this shit out, okay? Because we know what we're talking about here. Jordy, you said <laughs> yeah, when's the last time Tommy's had fast food? He was in Germany. You, he, he was like oh, open today. markets. And I'm shit. not. I'm not much better than you guys. I'll be honest. You said with you, you spent. I, 12, I move around a little more than you guys, though. I think you spent twelve dollars on a combo at McDonald's. Yeah, mm-hmm. like like this, like McDonald's for. For those of you who know, McDonald's is having this whole crisis on like TikTok and everything like that, where like they're losing the forty-five k and under crowd, mm-hmm. which is they which what McDonald's considers the lower income because like McDonald's bases their whole demographics off of people of like a medium income. When McDonald's it's franchises, so bad for you though, man. It's it so it so is bad for you. Yeah. When McDonald's franchise is something, they take the medium income, which around nowadays the medium income is around seventy-five thousand dollars. But that's factoring in dinks. I remember. Just, I remember when in the nineties, you had forty k. You're pretty good shape if you're saying. Yeah, yeah. We used to be forty two thousand yeah. dollars. Now it's seventy five. And oh like, God. and but that's fa- that's fa- that's factoring in dinks. Dink stands for like dual income, no kid, like places. Right. Like I'm Which I'm is, in a dink relationship. Me and Kelly have dual incomes, but we have no children. So he right? can afford McDonald's. I can afford McDonald's. McDonald's <laughs> is not that point. type of luxury though, because like. Me and my wife went to a local restaurant recently, and, and she ordered the chicken tenders. And she got five tenders, and they were ginormous. I actually have a picture. Connor, you can put this picture here. Mm. Right. And um, and this combo cost less than a Big Mac. Like, this this meal was, like, eleven ninety nine. And How much are you paying big, for a Big Mac? Twelve. Eleven. So I, I played twelve. For the combo. Played, for the combo. Okay. For the combo, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But this is the same thing. You get fries, you get five chicken tenders, and a drink for eleven ninety nine. Yeah. And you get this versus a Big Mac. And like like this one thing is not like the other. Right? Like it, Help me out again, here, Boogie. Again, I just don't think you know how to use the apps because uh, I I just it, it shouldn't have McDonald's to be the app though, home. like cuz most people don't use the app. Right. So I get mad at Which people Which is why they give you such good deals. I, I feel like Chick-fil-A should have an app line and a, a I need to know what I need to order their line. Number one, they give you free food for using the apps loyally. Um secondly, Again, if you're eating at McDonald's, I think you're doing it wrong. You can go to Chick Fil A, get a much better sandwich, four dollars and eighty cents at my local Chick Fil A for a really good sandwich, really good service. People are really nice for you. I feed me and my roommate and Desi all fifteen bucks at Chick Fil A. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I don't I might have to interrupt this shit. On the you stupid know, shit, like, like French fries and fucking. After you love <laughs> I got coupons. Free. Sometimes after he does some work, I'm like, hey man, well, we were, uh, what it's just nice. It's nice. Do? Do? Like wipe the countertop. You guys down? just think about food all fucking day. Right now he's painting the fucking house. Right now he's painting the house for free. You guys think about food all day? Yes. Every second of every day while I'm sleeping, I dream about it. God, you really are addicted. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Well, well, thank you. I don't feel any bad for you. Now. No, I'm just like, saying. Oh, I'm no, just saying. I'm just glad somebody fucking me, recognizes Tommy. it. You fucking dick go on a diet. Prick. I'm thinking about fried <laughs> chicken right now because he mentioned that I shit. I want to go to Slim Chicken right now. Slim Chicken's too expensive. Yeah, let's, oh, let's, so. let's talk about something fucking boring. Let's talk about 8-Bit Eric and fucking Review Tech USA. <laughs> I love okay, it. Before we get it. Okay, first off, I was not around... 8-Bit Eric is a friend of mine. I want to make that abundantly clear. We've known each other for 10 years. <laughs> I don't and, think that guy's a friend to anybody. Oh, Fuck my God. Over he for is, cloud let, me tell you, snap. let me tell you something. <laughs> he is just as good in person as he is, uh, you know, like I saw he refused to participate in some of the fights and arguments and stuff. He's just that kind of person. He's actually a genuinely good person. He's an incredibly he skilled wrestler. Him? Holy shit. Wait do you see him wrestle. He's so good at watching. I tried to, to watch him wrestle. wrestle. I couldn't find anything. Oh, oh! Check my channel. I have I have footage of him wrestling as Wario on my channel. He's Why is really he such good. a baby? Then why is he such a pussy? My, 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 my question: If you say he's, he's a nice, good person, why is he doing detractor channel stuff? Uh, because he does call out shitty people, and Rich has done some shitty stuff lately. 
Oh, like, people honestly, say, it's not even good, like, fucking Wings Channel, though. It's like, you're a bad person. I hate that shit. I think when it just clips you guys out of here, Here's the thing. Like, yeah. I, my, my, I objectively, when I say call somebody a bad person, I think of somebody, like, breaking into somebody's house for fucking drug money. I don't think of somebody yeah. be like, oh, your kid's No, crying, it's, it's Boogie and it. Wings. And, but, and we, but again, <laughs> you, know, like, you guys are the worst. <laughs> again, remember, it's the internet, right? The, these mm. a, a lot of these people grew up in, like, rich little neighborhoods. They're little kids. They don't know what real life is like yet. They're privileged yet. And they're like, oh, my God, that guy called someone else an asshole. This is truly awful stuff. If I did that at the Catholic school I go to, I would get hit with a ruler. You know, like... They have no fucking context for what is actually bad. I don't even think that's it. I think just people just enjoy hating on you guys. Cause it's I, I think that's it. I think me and Boogie react to it, and we're fucking mentally insane because we always feel like we need to defend ourselves. But, like, to generally be, like, review and, and USA is a bad dad. And you're, dad. And you're like, conscious like, of it, and you still do it, which is really yeah, funny, too. I can't stop Like, you're, you're self-aware, and you still do it. <laughs> it's like, 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 person be like, Maybe I should just stop doing that. <laughs> like, our show is called Low Cow Live. And let me tell you something. The vast majority of low cows are on the spectrum. Like, most of these people are mentally retarded. Yeah. Like, like you can't look mm. at somebody like Daniel Larson or, like, Johnny Elbows or even Chris Chan and be like, yep, that's a well-adjusted human being right there. That person's going to go far. Like, Well, get, getting back to Apic Eric before we get to 25 different subjects. Yeah. He made um he made a video saying that I was mean to him and Keen was mean to him and we never let him talk. He thought he was coming on some like like a debate panel against Rich and I, you know I, I watched it I watched the thing over again and Keem's telling him was like nobody gives a shit about your beef stupid and he just I, he completely didn't grasp it. He's like I this was bad faith. You know, he thought yeah, he was going to debate I'd Destiny be, or something. I really went to sleep to listen to that fucking beef. That beef was fucking asleep. <laughs> I mean, he was lame. And that's what you, we're, we're, we're like flat out telling him, this shit is boring. This shit is boring. And then he, he takes that as, I, I wasn't given a fair, uh, I wasn't given enough time I mean, to explain myself. in his defense, myself. you are kind of an asshole sometimes. So maybe he was just thinking, I didn't see it That's what I like about Tommy. <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Tommy's not afraid to be an asshole. I am. I'm not going to argue that. But to Eric him? is sure. Eric is just genuinely a very good person. I don't. I, think so. it's, I think it's he's really a YouTuber. I don't. I think you have no judgment. I think he's just a typical YouTuber. Well, we got a say. We got a saying on on uh, on shot from the point, right? Which I rarely bring up. I'm not trying to plug myself or anything. Yeah. But we call it just a YouTuber. And that by me meaning that they only do things. Everything they do in their life is based on their channel. That's Eric. Oh no! One hundred percent. I mean, he was—he he, hes hes arguing. Like, here's what just the YouTubers do: they argue about the size of their channel, they argue with views, they point out if somebody isn't getting views. Everything they do is based on promoting their channel, their YouTube presence, and that is Eric to the bone. I mean, and that he's, is a guy you can't trust. He's been a YouTuber sure. for the whole time I've known him, which is almost ten years, and I mm. hang out with him two or three times a year. Um, and I'll be honest with you, uh, I don't see that at all, but maybe I'm blind to it. I'll, I'll, give you I'll be honest you with you, are. Boogie. At no point I've ever gave a fuck about my channel growing, and I'm bigger than some of these people. <laughs> yeah, I, I 110% was that person uh, throughout 2015 to 2000. Yeah, but at least like, like these guys, yeah. when, they, when they get washed up like us, they don't even stop. All right, we got washed up and I whatever. Stop. I'm washed you know? up and, and, and I didn't stop. You know? We got washed up. I got washed up. That's it. Yeah. But these guys, like, they're like, I'm going to keep the dream alive. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's, well, that's I like mean, like, it works for some people. Like, like yeah, I mean, Prince you could come back. Like, Prince EA was a washed up YouTuber. And now he's, you, like, you, huge. I mean, you know, you can, you can, your, your thing can end and you can hop on something new and you'll be okay. But if you get in, like, a low-cost status, you're never going to get out of it. It's the, never leaving. There is another YouTuber that I'm not going to mention the name of, okay? You mm -hmm. cannot press me to do it. But they used to be <laughs> right at the very tip top of the game, higher than any of us ever were, right? Mm -hmm. And um, they used to talk to their fans like, you know, kind of like talking down like the way big YouTubers do, right? Hey, guys, this weekend we're going to, we're going to make a video that will make your baby's pussy wet, whatever, I don't know. Uh, just trying to come up with offensive shit. But, um, I'll say. <laughs> but now that person gets like, 2,000 views per video, if they're lucky. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they still happens. post like that. They're still like, this weekend, all of my fans will be... I'm like, all eight of them? 
Like, I don't know who you're talking well, about. Well, what, you what he is, is he's, YouTube now. has got his shit shadow banned, and he's just hoping to ride it out. Like, you just don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe there'll be a culture change, and it'll be big again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, only, you know, hey, I'm going to kill I'm gonna kill everybody in COD with my just a knife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's 2024. <laughs> what if? What like, if the, the standards are way fucking high now. <laughs> you need to be a, like, the standards so high in Call of Duty, if you're not aimbotting on, like, war zone you're fucking not anybody mm. oh you're saying all those guys are, you're saying all the good players are cheaters the vast majority of them are yeah, yeah you think so it, it, majority it, it, the vast majority of them like it, if you see somebody laser beam headshot a guy that's parachuting down he's a cheater mm. he's a cheater mm. it, 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 it doesn't yeah but are those guys players streamers? can't do that are those guys streamers yes the, the yeah, streamers I, that stream, do that. that's, I disagree with you i think streamers eventually get caught Especially if they have, but the, the the more fans they have, if you got a you got a thousand people following you and you're fucking aimbot, you're gonna get fucking picked off. They do get picked off watching you. They do get picked off. Like I, I yeah, everybody gets picked. I even so I, I even, I even missed one. Mind. Like um, what was the fuck the dude's name? God, I can't remember his name off the top. But he used to be the number one Warzone player in the world. He had the most kills. He dropped forty consistently, and I even beat him in Search and Destroy on my stream. And I like that was like like a milestone. I'm like oh, we just beat the number one Warzone player in Search and Destroy, but. He was an aim botter. He, he, he ran He's an aim, aim botter. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm saying guys don't do it. I don't get it. It's probably more than I like, but I don't think it's a majority because if you have a following, if, if you have a following, you, you remember remember when going to lands was a litmus test? You have these guys online, they destroy, and like, well, I'm not going to that land. You're the number one player in the world. You're not going to a land? You can't afford that. Yeah, like, no. But no, I, I don't think as many people are cheating, you think. I mean, do you think you really think like ninja's cheating? Ninja's not one of the top people in the world. And he also no, but one time he was. One time he was. He's certainly skilled. Yeah, he, he's skilled. But like, uh, you got to look at it this way. Like, I, I don't know about Fortnite. I know about Call yeah. of Duty. I'm. I was. Yeah, in but the he didn't know he played. He played I, I was. Let me. Let me. Understand. I was not a professional player, but I was in the professional scene. Let me clarify this. Yeah. I've been around and I've played with some of the best to ever do it. You Scumpy, Diesel, the Optic guys, the Scumpy. NB guys, you know, to TP. He's I've, making I've all of those all names all up of them. to me. I've no, no Scumpy's real them. guy. He's, he's Scumpy, Scumpy, right Scumpy uh, Dopey, Shim Cham. <laughs> there is never <laughs> going to be a guy in Warzone that can consistently track a guy and headshot him while he floats through the air on a parachute. It is almost physically, humanly Yeah, impossible. but so who's doing that? Call them out. Lots, lots of streamers, streamers doing that. Lots of really? streamers. Like I've seen this one girl it. streamer. Like she got hit for aimbotting too later, and I don't remember mm. her name. People, people in the comments section will tell me who it is. But like, is she hot? <laughs> yeah, she was hot. But like, um, there you go. She was doing this shit. She and, and then all of a sudden she got caught and she came back and now she sucks. Of course. Like, but here's yeah. the thing. Like underneath these guys that are aimbotting are good players. Like. They just want to go the extra mile. It's like almost yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was I was told when it comes to esports, the guys that cheat the most are actually usually really good on their own. Yeah, um, it's not the the like the crappy players like me don't cheat that often. I mean, it's the same you as know? like the gambling streams. If you're winning, uh, you're probably cheating if uh, while you're live streaming. Well, you know, they get, no, they're they're gambling have like a, like thirty seventy house odds. Like house has seventy percent to win. You got thirty percent. Yeah. I, yeah, I feel, I feel like the, boss man the, the, the sites let them win so they can promote the site. Yeah, you I mean, you sent us a boss man Jack clip. He got banned for doing Here's the autistic thing. If you thing. cheat a gamble, you cheat those companies, you're you're looking at prison time. Yeah, That's no, like I'm, saying, I'm, a, I'm you, saying you cheat a Call of Duty, you get banned and start another account. I'm saying yeah. a lot of times if they're cheating in the gambling things, it's because they're cheating with the company to promote. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, website. yeah, yeah. They That's do that, but saying. nobody's cheating those companies, man. Let me tell you, you get. I'm going to do it. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't have to get censored for the live stream. But uh, you sent, you showed us a clip of Boss Man Jack having a meltdown, and he was doing the autism. I call it the autism thing because I, I started doing that. it, found out it's a sign of autism. But he's doing this, hitting you know, himself hitting in the himself. head, right? Go and I, I, I not retard. as hard as he does, but I do this. A lot of people I know who are on the spectrum do this. As like I call it a brain <laughs> reset, and I've said that to people I've seen do it. They're like, no, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm only trying to reset my brain. No, um, not, it's just a retard. retard uh, yeah, I mean, it's a f form of retardation. Have you ever did seen, did you see that, that scene in Rain Man? Where he makes like four <laughs> grand and loses in 15 seconds. Oh, they do that in Rain Man. What's that? What happened? He, he turns like he turns like thirty five dollars into four grand, and he spends hours doing it. And then he's like, he gets all excited. He starts doing eight hundred dollar pulls, and like he just clicks like three asshole. times and just loses it all. I think it's great. 
I think it's fantastic you lost it all that much. I, I, I love watching gamblers lose. There's nothing more entertaining. Oh, I bet you were rock hard lose. when I lost all my money in crypto, then, huh? Uh, well, I didn't see if you did it live. I would. You want to know the truth? I knew you'd blow it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I said that to one of my guys. But did you knew I was gonna blow it on hookers? Wait, what, Jordan? You should I need like a, a savings hooker. account number in the back just shows how much your savings is, and we'll, we can watch it go down in real time. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> that and we'll do one of those for that, and one for my live stream. Yeah. Do, my, you uh, remember, my do you remember when numbers? guys were losing subs and they got in drama and they had entire streams out there showing them lose subs? Yeah, like yeah. The, the the this guy is over party. They don't do that no more. I, I miss that. Because they you took know, away the live numbers, unfortunately. Yeah, it sucks, right? That was so cool. Yeah, it was. Really it was ruined. That. It was fun to watch it. I'm well, sorry. PewDiePie, PewDiePie yeah, came from the same era of YouTube as we did, where like it used to be the Wild West, and nobody. For, yeah, like updated. Shane Dawson flopping around in blackface. I had a whole blackface character that was on the trending tab all the time, right? You know, Shanae or whatever. <laughs> that was that was the internet, you know. Yeah, it was fun. They ruined it. Yeah, well, everybody says you, you know what ruined it. it. I, ruined I'll, it. I will still say this to this day. It's when Susan Wojcicki and the higher ups at YouTube realized they were going to have to bend the knee to advertisers, and it became television. And when they chose to do that, when, when they Trump chose to do what? Trump got elected. That's what fucked it up. But they'd already what? bent the knee before that. They'd already started no, putting in they, policies. They really, if you think about it, Trump's elected in, what, 2016. The incident um, with PewDiePie happens in late 2017, the yellow... Uh, the yellow thing, the, the, all the media stuff. I mean, yeah, okay, report. yeah. That's, that's really it was Trump. That's I'm fair. sorry, that's that's what I noticed the difference. What do I you mean, think? You, what do you think no, about the TikTok ban? I'm really hold curious. Up, hold, hold, hold up for the TikTok ban. Yeah, oh, Tommy. Tommy, can you elaborate on the Trump thing? Because I'm sure this will ignite a lot of people in the comments. Uh, well, no, I'm not saying like I'm not saying like what I'm saying is when Trump was elected, the original narrative is well, the only reason he got elected is because of fake news. People were lied to. They didn't understand what they were voting for. He ended up turning that around on them, and then he started using fake news in an annoying way. Um, but I think what happened was is these companies are a lot more willing to listen to the government to tell them what to put up and what not to put up. So I think like, that was sort of a, uh, a wake-up call, so to speak. Like, we can't allow people like Trump to take office. You sure it wasn't like so, Coca-Cola and people just pulling out after Pootie Pie I think, Yeah, collectively, bumps. collectively. And I think it was like the Wall Street Journal doing articles to encourage Coca-Cola to get out. So so, so that, that that's what it is. It was a chain reaction. That's what I believe, yeah. Because, like, I was lucky. I didn't Because that, didn't if, if you want to know the major cultural event that happened and what's prior, yeah. like, everything prior to 2016 was the open internet. Everything after was, like, 1900 in the Old West that started changing. That was that was the flashpoint, you know. So uh, logically, I mean, you disagree with me, but that that's what I think it was. Yeah, sure. I remember yeah, back in the I, day, I, in like I, 2010, wrong. there was a channel that the entire channel was like called Das Boot or something shit like that, and it was a das dude boot. that would take his boot and stomp on shit, and he stomped on some horrible shit, like I'm all kinds like, of animals and oh, stuff. Fuck yeah, yeah. like yeah. puppy. Yeah. You got away and, with it. He yeah, he got away with it. He got advertisements put on that shit for a while. <laughs> and like, I remember that bad. being, I remember <laughs> that being where like, yo, this is where we draw the line, motherfucker. We ain't, we ain't with this. No, you that's just, that's that to some point. You can't be monetizing that shit. No, I, I think it was, I think it was the media pushing the sponsors and then they all freaked. And then, and I think like people like YouTube, because they're all a bunch of woke assholes, they were more I, than willing to go along with it. I think you're you know. absolutely correct. Um, yeah. And I do think advertisers were part of the people that were trying to like help force that kind of change. Yeah. But I think we see it also with the TikTok ban. Um, and I know China. Here's the thing. I don't believe China needs TikTok to get our data. You know why? Because they can buy it off of Facebook. They can buy it off of any other company. They can buy it off of Google. That shit's for sale. Oh, we won't sell it to China. Then you'll sell it to an American that will then turn around and sell it, sell to, China. it to China. Right? China is going to have that information no matter what. Okay, mm. um, it has nothing to do with an app being in town or whatever. You know what I found but out I, recently? I, well, hold on. I think I think when it comes to TikTok, it's all about oppressing freedom of speech because they they've been able to really manipulate the way that YouTube uh, promotes things and the algorithm True. and and false True. news and all of this shit. Uh, you see that on X two with the reader comments and everything else. Uh, Facebook has is has changed in that way as well, but TikTok's still kind of the wild west. If you want to, I mean, there's really? plenty of things you can't do. You can't I've crush gotten, puppies like, I, when with I was, a boot. When I gave TikTok but, a try, they were taken down by shit left and right. Well, and I, I don't know about that. Tag. 
I, I, I'm God. I'm but I'm saying if you if you figure out how to work around the rules and the algorithms, you can get across most messages you want. If you want to be in a Trump uh, a, a beehive of of sameness, you can easily get into that. If you want to be yeah. in a liberal beehive, you can easily be in that. If you want to be there's uh, witch talk, there's uh, all kinds of stupid weird shit. These little subgroups and they find each other and they feed off of each other and they are able to. Uh, mobilized, and I think they're afraid of that. And I guess there is some respect to a Chinese-owned company being able to manipulate the algorithm and whatever, some conspiracy theory bullshit. But I, again, I think it goes back to getting YouTube to do it first. Now they're trying to get TikTok to do it. TikTok refuses, and they're going to try to ban the fucking thing. Well, what were you going to say, Jordan? I, well, what I was originally going to say is, like, I'm a GM guy, and I yeah. recently learned that OnStar, even if you don't have it on, is collecting the data of your driving habits and selling it to insurance companies. <laughs> Wait, like, what? I thought that was OnStar is like this system that GM puts in cars that, like, if you well, get you are a, wreck, a topic flipper like a motherfucker, man. Yeah, I'm never let me do this again. Well, this is the same thing about the TikTok. I suppose. Yeah, how do you suppose? Like, like it's people taking information and selling it. Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's just like, like I, I just found that fucked up that they, that they can just You're do that. Schizophrenic. Because I, I don't know. You're schizophrenic. It's well, the ADD, they, reason they, probably. The reason, I'll say. You the guys reason got they bad, won't, man. The reason they want to do I TikTok isn't, isn't because of that. It's they, they don't want the money to be flowing into China. It's it's That's that's the underlying issue. They don't want you all want this my money answer, flowing Boogie? into China. Yeah, yeah. I, I love know. Thomas Mann. If I can be shown that they're a legit, legitimate national ther- um, security threat, which I can't be because I don't trust any of them anymore. I don't even trust the people in the army I used to work with. Yeah. You know, if they told me, I wouldn't even believe them at this point. Only a handful of guys I knew personally. Right. So if I could be shown their national legitimate national security threat. Yeah, sure. Then fucking get it out of here. We don't we, we don't, like the, the, the First Amendment doesn't protect fucking uh, um, foreign adversaries uh, to uh, give them a way into the country and manipulate this, that and the other thing. OK, but here's the thing. You're probably like I could see it being right. It's, a, it's just a competition thing to throw in a bone to Google. You know, for, for for taking down Trump post or or anti COVID post or something like that, I can see something like that happen. So my answer is I don't know. Um, my principle is you should let speech go on no matter what. But I don't know. It's the Chinese government. They're pretty fucking awful. Last time I checked. So I mean, that's I really true. don't know yeah. if they're doing the right thing or not. Um, I, if it's I, for speech reasons, I don't want it. If it's it, 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 it's wrong, it's a First Amendment violation. Well, if like the said. Chinese are really tunneling their way in, and here's another thing. Here's something like you don't know like. I, I was familiar. I can't go in. I don't know what I, I'm not trying to sound like a spy here, but I don't I, I don't know what I can and can't say as far as my old clearance is concerned, because even when you lose your clearance, you're not supposed to talk about stuff. But I can tell you this and be with it. Not like there were apps back then from like 2005 that were aimed at soldiers that I'm well aware the Russians uh, were, were involved in and our adversaries and some of our allies, too. So they, they do use this stuff, and it is a, I, I know it can be a national security threat. I just don't know what way TikTok is legitimate national uh, security threat. But in considering what I've seen over the past five years, I wouldn't trust them if they told me they were. You know, that's, that, there's my answer. I'll tell you, you know? national security threat, and this is going to sound fucking hella xenophobic. Mexicans. No, like <laughs> other people, people like Chinese billionaires. You know, billionaires from other parts of the world coming and buying land in the United States, and then raising. I don't like rent. that either. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, you don't want like, to get into. You don't want to get into. I don't into, know raising rent. I don't want to buying it. Period. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. I don't like. This is my opinion. You shouldn't be able to own land in the United States unless you're a United States citizen. Uh, yeah, but if you, I mean, you saying that right now, you need to go back and look at like nine eleven and stuff. The the, the <coughs> Middle Eastern people own so much of New York, so much of the United States. It's right, like they, they were, stupid though. Like, 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 is that is that bad? Is that a bad take that you should? Be it doesn't United sound States like a good. It doesn't sound like a good plan. It be honest, but yeah. Well, here's the here's the problem with not letting people. Like, they'll never invest in the country, which will cut our economy. And that, that that would be that would be the thing. But you know, I'm sure there can be some kind of regulation out there that would only allow them to buy so much and only rig the regulation where it would benefit us and and possibly the people that are investing. But you can't. You can't say that like no foreign investment, but I know I think it's weird when Bill Gates goes on the COVID rant and then he buys a bunch of land. I think it's incredible the amount of uh, land the Chinese have bought. So, and I, it's probably not all good intended. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure I can get on train. I just don't know enough about the subject to say. 
where yeah, it I don't know stop. enough you either, but I, you I just feel you like can't it's just cut off. What you're asking for is like cutting off foreign investment. Stop well, trying to be reasonable, Tommy. You're like, I don't know enough about it. <laughs> take right, a crazy right, wild right, take. It's the Chinese. internet. It's go get it wild. Get crazy with it. The Chinese yeah. people are responsible <laughs> for the people that bought up all the homes to turn them into Airbnbs. That's yeah. why rent's so yeah. high. It's the damn Chinese. <laughs> yeah, you're right. My my aunt my aunt used to own a store. And she ended up selling a store to a company called Sunhouse. Sunhouse is a, a is a company based in India, right? And He's come again. And like, um, they every six or seven years, what it, it it correlates with like the tax laws because like United States, if you're like a foreigner and you come in, there's like a, a an abrieve of taxes that you have to pay on your business to invest in the United States. So every like six or seven years, they just swap out ownership of this company so they never have to pay taxes on the store that my aunt built. And like, okay. I'm sure more people do these loopholes. Like, if you really, I don't want, have a problem with loopholes. No, I, I have like, a problem like, with loopholes because like a lot of rich don't. motherfuckers don't pay shit. Good. They ain't yep. good. That means I gotta good. pay shit. Good. I'm the middle class. No, 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 no. It don't work like that. Here's the thing. It's your responsibility to protect your money. There's a difference between tax board and loopholes. So if you want to get out of it, I, I have no problem with that, right? Like, and if the guy, like, like, but it's it's just like Trump said years ago. If you really want that tax money, you would close the loopholes. But they don't want to close the loopholes because the loopholes benefit. Everybody on both sides of the political spectrum. So, yeah, if, 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 and here's another thing. I have lost the faith in our government to like, oh, my God, somebody's not paying taxes. What? So we can just go to waste for the government? I'd rather somebody like, yeah, cut corners. Sure. I mean, I, I'd rather go to private hands. Sure. The smartest thing Trump ever did was basically when, like, uh, they called him out on, uh, you take advantage of the loopholes, you don't pay anything in taxes. It's like, yeah, damn right I do. He says, yeah, damn right. right you do. And, and if you want me to stop doing that, your team you needs to close, close the loopholes. Yeah, but you're right. not that, going to because you're a benefactor. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it was perfect. Yeah, they, they bitch about the stuff they create that benefits them just to make it sound like they give a shit. And yeah. here's the thing. I'm not a big believer in them. If if the government has more tax revenue, like, my life will be better. I bet it would be worse. <laughs> you know? They'll yeah. just They'll just charge more for that toilet seat. Yeah, like, like, I, like I, I don't, I don't believe. Like, I mean, from what I can see, you know, with the, the age that I have, it, like, most of the programs that are started benefit the government. You know, it keeps it keeps you keeps you on the well social heroin. It keeps you on, it keeps you poor. I don't see it really benefiting anybody. Once you get, I, once the government gets a hold of you and you have to depend on them, you're fucked. I, I mean, think, there I are think, things the government does. Is fucked too. Your kids are fucked. There are things that the government does program. that's important, like infrastructure. I'm a big fan yeah, of infrastructure. Yeah, I mean, infrastructure like, that's what it's for. Like that. My, yeah. my, I, that my point is, Boogie, I don't think that's their priority. I think it's, it, their priority is to create programs to keep people on the dole. You know, I, and I, and knowing knowing damn well it doesn't help anybody, but I, you get to go out and say, well, I, I got you know, I brought I think, all these I think people in West Virginia money. You know? I think their priority has always been the same that it's always going to be, which is shift money around to make it look like it's going where it's supposed to go when they can funnel as much of it into their billionaire friends' pockets. As well, they I, mean, let, I mean, let's, let's take something. Always, always let's, let, let's do, that's not what I'm saying. That's all what right? I'm saying though. Let's like, like all right, like let, let's put it this way. Let's let's say they come out with some kind of entitlement. All right, and uh, that entitlement. And every, everybody's for it. And then that in time, you, you count on a certain money a month and you're entitled to this money. I don't, let's say that money runs out. I mean, let's say, you know, and this is something we want to come back. Well, the people that created it, even though it's done like no good, can always go back and say, hey, they're trying to take this away from you. And that way, they, that, that way they can always like kind of, oh, look at these, look at these evil people they're trying to cut back where it might be the, 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 the responsibly economic thing to do to cut back. Yeah. On something like uh, entitlement. So they, they always keep you, you're, hook, you're hooked on the social heroin. You're hooked on the heroin. Like, like Social Security is not an entitlement. Like, it, you pay into it. It is entitlement. It's I'm entitled not, to it. Yeah, sure, well, it's entitlement. Social Security is the entitlement. You I think mean, you're entitled to it. They're going to pull that shit by the time. Essentially, your A lot of people listening to this are, just, are 65. You know what it is? It? You know what it is? It? Because it, it, I, I'll tell you why. I, I'll tell you. You don't get your money back. Usually, uh, it'll have taken more money out than you ever put in. Here's why. Inflation. And with natural inflation, I'm not just like going off about Biden. It's it's natural inflation. You don't like that's what my grandparents say your grandparents said, It's my money. I put it into it. Guess what? You already spent it. <laughs> you know, and you're still getting you're still getting a check. You know, that's you know, you, you can sit there and, and more and, and that's one of the things I was just talking about. You can morally posture about putting money in. And the, the, the simple fact is you are you're, you're taking more out than you're putting in. I mean well, the that, good news that's is it's fucking a racket. It's a racket. The good news is the majority of people listening to this will never collect a social security check because they will fucking dump that program as soon as they can. Right? 
Right. They'll find a way to tax it in other ways and, and spend put it into the right pockets. But the last thing they want to do is take Think care of this. the sick dying. I haven't paid That's the last I, thing I they ever want to do. I haven't paid Social Security because I'm you know I'm over here. Uh, ten years I'm working over here, so I don't pay taxes in the states anymore. I pay German taxes, right? Yeah. And let's say I say another thing, I go back. Is it fair that I get to collect Social Security money? Because I can. It doesn't matter. You're a citizen, so like you're entitled. Well, to yeah, it. yeah, I can, but I didn't. I, I didn't. Well, I didn't once you get paid in. out, yeah, no, 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 wings, wings. I didn't put the money in. Yeah, but what they pay you out is based on what you pay in. That's no, yeah, but think yeah, about all no, the people no, that pay, think about all the people that paid in that just died before they could collect it. Well, and then and the stuff like that. But then why is it? It's it's, it's broke. It didn't. It, it, I, I don't think it's, it's a in, socialized I system. The, I don't think it's in the black. You know. it, it is. It's not it in the black. It's, it, it's broke. But that's that's also because of like cutbacks and shit like that, and like them taking money from Social Security to put in other places. You know what? People like you need a total collapse. I'm entitled to this money. Well, it's gone. Now what? I, I don't got no motherfucking <laughs> Social Security money. <laughs> Not yet. You only like 30 years, like 20 years. Dude, away. I will never collect when, Social Security. When can you Security's collect it, When you're 60? Um, when, when can you collect Social Security? Uh, at 67 oh, yeah, so now. It looks like they just added two more years. Really? Wow. Yeah, good luck. Okay. But good I'm, luck, I'm, y'all. I'll never see 64. Boogie yeah, guaranteed you. never see 64. <laughs> I'll never forget. What, what the, I don't know if it made the final cut, but when I did Caleb <laughs> Hammer, he's like, you should be putting your money in a 401k. I'm like, are you fucking retarded? No, are you kidding me? That was a great idea. I'm, 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 I put my money in 401k. I'm going to make it to 60 wife. to cash in my 401k. Are you out of your mind? I'm well, never going to see I a mean, dime of that. Well, That's, first, I may as well just burn that money in the backyard before I put it first in a lockbox I don't get to open until I'm 65. Boogie, boogie, I, I, got, I, I, got to, I got to tell you, first off, Boogie, you can borrow against your 401k at almost yeah, no and I mean during COVID, they let people have access to it. If I knew, well, then, no, no, well, you get now, access to it anytime saying. you want. I bought a boat with my four hundred one k one time. Don't you have to pay huge penalties off of, on that? You no, you get taxed when you pull it out, and you get taxed big time. It's like thirty percent, but oh, like, I, that's I, I, it. It's your fucking money. The other thing I told him, I'm like, hey man, I'm worried about medical bills right now. I'm not worried about saving any money. I'm worried about coming up with enough money to pay to save my life. That's where I'm focusing. You know. You're a genius. No, you're both a bunch of dummies. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, if I knew then what I know now. But the good news is, if you listen to this podcast you and you're aware you of all the stupid shit I've ever done, <laughs> most of you are probably smart enough to not do In, the stupid shit I've invest done. Invest in your 401k. But, These motherfuckers give me bad advice. Like, yeah. Social Security is not, you're not going to have Social Security to fall back on when you're fucking 67 or like 85 when they, and they keep pushing the age up. Do you know what the dumbest Work part forever, about it is? Peon. You know what the dumbest like, part about it is You now? need to get your yep. own money. If I truly, truly just wanted to give up, all I'd have to do is, uh, and my friend, I talked to Turkey Tom about this when he was here briefly. Um, mm. All I'd have to do is sign everything over to somebody I trust in a disability trust, and I could start collecting disability again. And since I paid so much in through YouTube, I'd collect a reasonable check, and I wouldn't have to try to work. Reasonable. I wouldn't what have to try reasonable. to do any of this shit. Turkey, economic. I, got I know my, it's South Carolina. I got my, my like like money from Turkey bucks, Tom. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I knew no, I drew eight hundred ninety prior to you know two thousand seven. Uh, I know that's been adjusted for inflation, so I think people collect like eleven hundred. I might collect close to that's, two thousand if I had to guess, because I'm on disability. I don't think I would that's just not get even your up. fucking mortgage. Right, this well, is I'm saying that I'd boring. have to sell the house. I'm just saying, listen, people like to hear about how financially dis de destitute no, they I don't. am. They swear to me. No, they don't. But I'm just saying, if I ever wanted topic. to just fully I'm never letting up. you guys do this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, uh, the experiment is over. The hey, let's talk about 8-Pick Eric. Oh, yeah, the price of fast food. <laughs> like, you guys are awful. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tommy, you know, you can always get us a guest if you'd like. That's my job. Right, but it's fucking hard. I can't get anybody. They're all afraid of the chat. They're, 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 <laughs> they get, most people are afraid of our fucking viewer base. They're all afraid of the chat. Good. Because here's the thing. Again, and I think that speaks to the fact that you and I are either stupid enough or strong enough to sit here every week and let these crazy motherfuckers go nuts on us. And I say, if you're, you're another YouTuber, I get your ass out here. And look, look, we've, we, there's definitely people out there oh, with balls. We've seen... Uh, a ton of people. Harley's been on this show, okay? Hey, he, he don't give a fuck. Uh, we, uh, uh, Oompa Loompa's been on this show. Oompa uh, Loompa. Oompa right, we're talking big. Oompa Oompa we got some big-ass names on here. Melody They're Mac. not afraid to do it. Get your little wiener 
pussy ass. How can you be a bigger pussy than me? How can you be a bigger idea. pussy? I got a better idea. This, this this podcast got all types of fucked up when we started worrying about guests. We should have set a fucking baseline, got our shit together. Not not like when we do a topic, actually see it through and not change it like literally a sentence that, in. How many did, times did that, that happen? Happen that, today? I, that will happen you every the, day. Like you wrote, I'm looking at it right now. You wrote the fucking topics. You know, dragons dogma. We covered them all. Somewhere else. Dragons like, we'll dogma. Actually do the segments. How about that? Dragons and then dogma you don't have to is worry really about fun though. Fucking guests. Dragon's Jesus Dogma Christ. 2 is so good. Uh, can I talk about Dragon's Dogma let's for not, a second? Okay. No. No, 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 listen. Thank listen. you, everybody, <laughs> for being a part of Local Live. Make sure you sign a membership and. Download Dragon's Dogma 2. It's really fun. The Sphinx hey, Quest is really good. I can't good. get Social Security. Be a member. Get <laughs> uh, Guys, thanks for listening. As always, I love you very much. Tommy hates you. And Jordy's yeah, ambivalent. Too. Thanks for listening. Well, I, I, I hate you if you're not a member. <laughs> yeah, be a member, <laughs> bitch. Be a member. And fuck you, Gary. <laughs> Membership is cheaper than Big Macs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. It truly is. It truly is. Bye. Bye-bye. Good God.